Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a very, very good day. Hope you guys are also ready for episode seven of our Audible app series tutorial. Now, today's video, we are going to address a comment that has come up in uh, one of the past videos, and I'm gonna to read to you what exactly that comment is. So we have our user here, uh, Amit Das. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. He says that uh, it would be great if you can show us how to deal with screen rotation in this Audible series as it looks pretty ugly, pretty ugly, as soon as the screen gets rotated. Okay, so what exactly is he talking about that is ugly? Let me show you guys right now with the simulator. And inside of the application that we have right now, it doesn't exactly handle rotation properly. If I hit command and right, so the command and the right arrow, gives us the rotation of the device. And you'll notice that the pages that are currently show up is not just one page, but two pages. And that doesn't look all that nice. So that's the very first issue. It should actually render out one page only. And the second issue is you uh, sometimes get a couple of different views centered in the middle. So that's the second issue. We need to center the page properly. And then the third issue is something else entirely. So before I kind of show you what that is, let me just go over to my uh, working application here. If I go to the second page and I rotate with command right, we get the uh, centering of what just the one page that we are currently on. And in addition to that, we have a smaller version of that image. So you notice how huge and big this one is. If you rotate it, it actually renders a different image. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do all of this today. Okay, so quite a bit of coding. And in this video, because I need a little bit of extra space to rotate the device on this side, it's going to look a little bit emptier right here. And here is my Xcode editor. So just like all of my previous videos, hope you guys are used to, I'm gonna run the application to you. Uh, just for just for me i guess to verify that the application is okay so what i'm going to do is scroll to the first page rotate it see how ugly it is and i'm going to fix the ugliness right now okay view controller at the very bottom of this file i need to type in this so i'm going to get some extra lines down here and i'm going to say will trans uh, will transition like this and let's just use print of uh, UI device, current, and then orientation. So this is just going to print out the, <clears throat> the device's orientation every time I rotate. Oh, there we go. So upon rotation, you'll see that the device right here prints out UI device orientation. And then we get a huge error right here. So on this orientation, you can actually say is landscape, and then it'll actually print out a Boolean value whether or not the orientation is in landscape. So pretty straightforward right there, and rotate this guy one more time. And now it says that it's true because we are now in orientation of landscape. And at the very end, it just says false down here. So true, false, and that's what we get. So good stuff. We are going to use this function down here, we'll transition, to actually implement something that will relay out our entire collection view. And this is a method called collection view, collection view layout, and invalidate layout. So let's just remove that print statement right there. And to comment things out easily in Xcode, you just hit command and the forward slash or backslash. Whatever this slash is, I can never get it right. This slash right there. And I'm rotate my device, and then we get the entire page filling up the entire screen right now. And this is more evident if I go to the second page like that. And you see how the sizes change entirely? And then the skip button and this page controller or this page control on the bottom, these are all in the right places now. And let's see. The next issue I was mentioning before is that when you rotate the device and uh, you look at the pages, they're not centered properly. And the reason is because we have to actually center it uh, into the middle ourselves. So upon will transition, we will call uh, collection view, scroll to item at index path of, let's see, let index path equals index path 
and we'll use this item constructor. And what is this item value? Uh, basically, it's the current page. We can pull from page controller.current page with section of zero. Index path right there, centered horizontal for the at parameter. Finally, we specify animation of uh, true. True is okay. Perhaps false would also work. So this is going to be my first attempt at uh, getting the scroll to work. And let's see if it actually does it or not. Okay. So going to the first page, I'll rotate. And you notice how it doesn't actually uh, scroll to the correct page. And why is that? So why is that? Hmm. Okay. So the reason is because I actually want to call this on a, uh, a different moment in time. And if I call this batch Q dot main dot async and pull this code, let's see, cut paste, I'm going to pull that code into this, this batch right here. And what this means is I'm going to, let's see, let me leave a comment here. Uh, scroll, let's see, to index path after the rotation is uh, is going. So that's what this kind of means right here. So let's go to the first page, rotate, and then now we get the entire page of the second page into our screen. And that's how that looks like. Let's see, the third page looks like that, and the final page looks like this. So a couple of things are going on. We're actually invalidating the layout, which means redraw the collection view with a proper width and height for all of the cells. And secondly, we scroll to the current page that we are on, which is a value pulled from the UI page controller on the bottom, UI page control. Ah, so there it is. So pretty simple stuff uh, <laughs> once you know how to do it, obviously. And the next thing I want to get to is what happens when I rotate this completed application is the image inside of the top section is uh, a lot smaller and it fits the UI a lot better than what you'll see in our current application. So rotating this, you'll get this gigantic image here, which is okay, but you see how the top is being cut off. So if you want to load an entirely different image, for landscape rotation, let's do this. First, open up assets uh, catalog, I think this guy is called. Next, I will just import these three images. So whatever you want to load, uh, you just want to drag them into your assets and then call it something. And I just conveniently named my images name uh, image names to be the same page value, but with an underscore and landscape at the end. Now, because it's named like this, I can simply go to page cell and inside of this page cell, whenever we set this page value, we are loading the image view dot image equals page dot image name. So this is what this top section is loading. And to make this a little easier to follow, I'm going to capture this image name. So let's see var image name equals this value right here. So I'm going to cut that out, paste that there, and then and here I'll specify image name instead. So nothing too fancy. I'm just uh, allocating the image name on top instead. So if I now do this, if UI device dot current dot, uh, let's see, orientation, yep, there we go, is landscape. We're going to say image name uh, equals, let's see, plus equals. I think that works for strings. Plus equals this underscore landscape string and will that work i think that'll work <laughs> so sometimes i just code this stuff on the fly and see if it works or not here we go the application is running the moment i scroll over we will get a smaller image so nope that is not what we get so i'm going to rotate this let's see rotate this and scroll over and you notice how this image is actually smaller so the next page is smaller if I go back, this image becomes smaller uh, and this becomes a different image as well. So let's take a look at what these images are. So that looks like that, that. And if I hit space, I get this. Hit space, I get this. And hit space, I get this. So 
So that's what's uh, being loaded in the top section. And now let's do this. So the reason why it is not loading this page correctly, and even this looks a little weird, the rotate looks really huge. And the fix is to go back down to view controller into will transition. At the very bottom, we specify data. So this means redraw all your cells and execute all the code that gets um, fired whenever you set this page here. In other words, we will, every time you call reload data, this method right here uh, gets called again for each one of these individual cells, which means that cell.page will fire off this code again. Hence, when you rotate the application like this, the image actually gets the correct landscape image instead. So that's what that looks like. And bam, bam, bam. Next page, let's hit this next button here. Next page, and there we go. So good stuff. That's how you would actually handle the rotation of the device. And make sure to you know render your images out separately as uh, portrait and landscape, and you should be okay. So uh, as a kind of bonus here, I kind of want to mention what happens with this keyboard right here. So Command K brings up the keyboard, rotate, uh, gets rid of the keyboard. And if you hit the keyboard here, you'll notice that a lot of the buttons are being hidden. And if I hit pass, uh, password, I can't really see the login button right there. And uh, see, how do we want to fix this here? Basically, I want to translate this view even further up when I'm in landscape mode. So if you go back to view controller and hit control six, you can do keyboard show is the method that gets fired off every time the keyboard shows itself. Uh, pretty self-explanatory there. We want to uh, execute a calculation for this Y value just like this. I'm gonna say let Y equals, see Y of CG float equals UI device uh, current orientation is landscape. So if it's landscape, uh, if it's landscape, we'll specify a negative 100. Otherwise, we'll specify a value of negative 50, which is that 50 right there, with our Y value from above. So this means if it's landscape, translate negative 100. If it's portrait, just only translate a little bit, which is negative 50. Okay, so let's verify this. That just goes up 50. Rotate it. Bring up the keyboard again. It actually... Uh, translates the view a lot higher now. So if you want to actually say uh, email like that, and if you tap into the password, you can now see the login button. So obviously this calculation is not perfect and you should definitely um, arrange your UI so that uh, the views are actually in view. <laughs> okay, that wraps it up for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, learning about how to actually handle the rotation of your devices and also make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions regarding this topic it does get a little confusing after a while and in addition make sure to hit a thumbs up for the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already it really does help me out and also the code is available for the project down below in the description find a link to the description that leads to my website and that's all for today. Keep on coding, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.